I just received the uh, replacement lenses from Valleva. Uh, these are transition lenses. Now, what you're looking at are the original Oakley ones, and I got them swapped out for the new transition lens from Valleva. The odd thing is that when it arrived, it was already tinted. It's supposed to transition to a much darker tint under the sunlight. So, while the OT lens are still transitioning, you can still see, you can actually see that it's, it's showing signs of peel. And this is how I look in it with the new transition lens from Waleva. Let's try it. What's up, people? Bring you another update just before the sun sets in sunny Singapore, and it's the Duotron Ultra, one month in. Well, as you can see here, starting from the tail, I've added these two um, items, basically for me to mount um, rear brake lights. I got these from Carbon Vivo in Singapore. I'm not sure whether they do any uh, overseas uh, mail. You could definitely hit them up on Facebook. So again, you can actually mount something on in this manner. So then you've got your brake lights whenever you need them instead of depending on the onboard rear brake lights or in case it fails. In the event if you decide to remove your grip tape, one accessory that you can purchase from Carbon Revo are these uh, grommets that you install on top of your existing deck. So if you remove your grip tape, these grommets gives you a much better footing um, people install it for aesthetics but I'm installing it purely because if I'm gonna remove the grip tape and have like a stealth a black stealth kind of a look you can literally place your weight on the grommets and it will give you a very firm footing just uh, just bear in mind that when you first install it give it some time to settle in and make sure you bring along an allen key to tighten these things down because it should not have any free play at all so once you have them installed bring along an additional allen key and make sure it's all nice and secure over here as you can see i've, ad I've added this uh, contraption here so that i could mount like my phone i could have a better view of like you know if you want to mount a gps unit or if you want to mount your smartphone here you could actually do so i like to keep this space over here empty so this is like kind of like my space this whole entire area is like my space so that's the reason why i have this facing outwards but this is entirely your choice i think everyone's e-scooter is so called uh, built a little different this is the way i, I prefer mine i've added i've added a, a secondary light over here this is the phoenix and i still have my night rider i've mounted it at the bottom the reason why i have this is because it's got a high beam function to make sure that people see me so in case in case uh, the bell doesn't work or from far far away they can't hear my bell I can use the high beam function I like this bell it's got a nice ring to it and the final addition are actually the light covers over here Again by Carbon Revo, you know, so that you know, since this particular light is at the bottom, it can prevent splashes, and also it prevents stone chips from hitting the the front facing lights. And right. So overall, that's what I've done. A month later, this is how my Ultra looks right now. Now regarding the power cut issues and the suspension sag that you're reading online it's affected some of the ultra users um, since my last update I've experienced no power cuts or no or no loss of power in a throttle everything has been working okay but the good thing about Mini Motors in Korea is that they've acknowledged certain problems with the ultra two of which is the suspension they attribute it to the production uh, of the uh, suspension rubbers one was made in winter and another batch was made in summer 
that has resulted in a weaker rubber suspension. Now regarding the power cut, this has to do with um, the swing arm and the way the wires are being routed. I think it's also being looked into. But other than that, um, I've not been ha having any problems. So rest assured, go out there, get an Ultra and have some fun with it. Do not be too alarmed by what you read on the forum. So I think it's all good for now. Um, having said that, if you are someone of a much bigger size, you know, say if you weigh in excess of 100 kilos, I think um, the rubbing the rubbing of the wires on the swing arm might be more pronounced, causing it to fray, which may or may not result in a power cut or the throttle cut that as we as uh, as we have uh, highlighted so far. Uh, again, the same thing applies uh, with the suspension. If you're a, if you're a heavier person, uh, definitely you would get a lot more sag in the suspension. But if you're a pretty lightweight, I'm, I weigh about 63 kilos. So far, it's been holding up. But again. Uh, Mini Motors uh, in Korea is uh, looking into all the issues and they will be releasing uh, information soon on how to get those uh, items replaced, especially if you're one of those people who are affected. And yep, that's about it. And that is the update that I have for all of you today. I've been having lots of fun with it. And until the next video, you guys ride safe and take care. Okay, bye.